Hello everybody, welcome to another update on the stock screener. We continue our soap opera with another episode on Verde Agritech. As you can see, the stock market is red, but Verde is green. So what is actually happening right now? Well, they announced the pre-feasibility study. So let's go through this news release. There are a lot of numbers, so I will try to get to the point. So basically, basically there are three scenarios now. Three scenarios. First scenario. And that is uh, this scenario, that's 10 million tons per year. And that is the scenario that will go in production in 2024 with only plant three. Okay. Second scenario is 23 million tons per year. I think this will be around 2026 that they will go in production with this scenario. And then there is the last scenario for 50 million tons per year. And that's around 2030 and beyond. Okay. So let's take a look at all of these scenarios. You can see here which price that they are uh, doing this study for, and it's very low. So three hundred seventy dollars uh, potash price. Currently, the potash price is indeed one thousand one hundred, one thousand two hundred. So they have uh, given low ball numbers for this feasibility study. I think it should be around six to eight hundred. Uh, on average so you can add some uh, margin on this study then they gave some figures here so that's where we are located so these are the sensitivity analysis for all the scenarios this is for the first scenario with only uh, K40, and then they add some nutrients. As you can see, uh, when they add nutrients, then the NPV goes up a lot. So it goes up by 1 billion if they add this to it, sulfur and micronutrients. Uh, this is for the second scenario. So 6 billion. Add some nutrients, it becomes 7 billion and then 8 billion. So that is uh, very good that you can just add a few billion dollars to, to your uh, NPV by adding some nutrients. Now the next chart is actually incorrect. So this is for 50 million tons, so they have added a wrong chart in here. This is not correct, so they need to update this. But this chart is correct. So this is about 12 billion, and then it goes to 13 billion by adding micronutrients. Okay, we will get deeper into detail on that. So these are the different NPVs based on the sale price. If you add more nutrients, then the sale price will increase. Discount rate is 8%, so that's very high. Look at the internal rate of return. It's amazing, 500%, 500% rate of return. These are numbers that I have never seen yet, except with Galani Gold, where we had 
I think 1000%. So this is the second scenario. Prices again here, NPV around 7 billion, and then going to 11 billion. Now, what people don't look at is the mine life. This is very important. So go watch my video on normalized NPV, because this is very important to understand uh, for Verde, because the mine life here is 70 years for the first scenario, then we have 30 years for the second scenario, and then 26 years for the last scenario. So you need to normalize this. Always normalize the mine life to five years, and then you get the normalized NPV. They have added some contingency, 15%. I like to see that. So the capex should actually be lower than they say. Long-term price, we already know, 350. And some other numbers here. This resource, I think there's not a lot of change in that. Now we come to CAPEX here, capital costs. And this is actually what's so good about this project because the CAPEX is so low. For the first scenario, we have only 50 million. So with $50 million, you can build a multi-billion dollar NPV. Same here. For the second scenario, we only have 130 million capex. And as you know, um, Verde already has earnings around 100 million for this year, and next year it's going to be even higher. So this 130 million capex is like nothing, okay? They can probably already build this scenario by next year, but they just need the permits. But let's just talk about the first scenario because that's the scenario for 2024. This is going to come much later on. Then the third scenario has 500 million capex, and that's because they need to build the railway. You can see here the railway as 300 million. And this is very important because in the previous feasibility study, we had this capex here applied to this scenario. So now we have removed this railway branch line capex and we reduced the capex from around 400 million back to 130 million. So we reduced about 300 million capex. That's very good. So we have now a growth scenario until 23 million tons per year without dilution. Without dilution, without any debt, it's all coming from organic growth, internal cash flow. Compare this with these gold miners and copper miners that dilute you through the nose, 50% dilution, 50% project debt. We don't have this here. So this is an amazing project that will just grow like crazy, have internal cash flow, no dilution. So for these two scenarios, we are safe. Now this scenario, don't look at this yet. This is too distant in the future. Now operating costs. These are the operating costs, 12, 11, 10. And if you do this times six, it's about $70 per ton. So it's higher, 
higher than I expected because in the previous feasibility study it was around $45 per ton and now it's 70 so it's almost doubled okay operating costs have almost doubled because of inflation but of course the selling price has also gone up so it will net each other out so let's go over to my charts now that's here so this was the previous feasibility study so you can see here that at current prices of 1000 potash we had 20 billion in NPV that was over a 36 year mine life 25 million tons per year okay now today when we look at the same amount 23 million tons then you can see that we have at 1000 we have around the same NPV okay so 23 and here it's 20 so there's not a lot of uh, change here but the selling price is higher so we are now uh, saying that the selling price will be around 500 potash instead of 150 potash so that's why we have a higher NPV at around 6 billion instead of 2 billion so we actually doubled the NPV we doubled the NPV because we can sell the potash at a higher price so we went from 2 billion to 6 billion and that's for the 23 million tons for the 2024 10 million tons we have currently at 1000 potash a 10 billion NPV but over a very long mine life so if you normalize this from 70 years to to back to 5 let's say divided by 10 then you have 10 divided by 10 is 1 billion so I would give this company 1 billion dollars value right now based on the current potash price 10 billion divided by 10 to normalize it okay that's 1 billion then in 2026 we have still this 1000 potash then you have 23 mine life is 30 let's normalize this so let's divide it by 6 so then we have around 24 divided by 6 is 4 so the value would go to 4 billion from 1 billion so if we are in 2026 then this company could be in the multi-billion dollar range between 1 to 4 billion dollars so that's a, a tenfold from here right and this scenario yeah that is very long term but let's do it 40 billion at 1000 potash over 26 mine life so divide it by let's say divided by five then we get 40 divided by five eight so eight billion so we have one billion four billion eight billion so you can see what the upside potential is here right one word about the capex capex for plant 3 was only 50 million this one 130 million is actually plant 3 and 4 together so so actually plant 4 is only about 70 million dollars so i mean this these are just low numbers low capex numbers you can build a plant with only 70 million dollars 
and you get an NPV in the multi-billion dollars, right? 20 billion, 15 billion here, and 40 billion in this scenario. And look at the mine lives, they are still very high, much higher than most uh, gold mines, even some copper mines, which only have a mine life around 10 to 20. So, I mean, you are sitting on a huge resource here, a very profitable resource. So, that was the update. I think the market is finally realizing that this, this is just the best stock out there and there are no other alternatives that come even close to, uh, to the upside in, uh, in this uh, company. So I just want to show you the earnings. So the earnings, so we are at 1,200 now and the earnings are 100 million per year right now for the 1 million tons. Next year we go to 2 million and the earnings will be 250 million. 250 million, right? So by the end of next year we can build we can build plant 3 and 4 because we have 250 million. And that means that these scenarios are in the pocket. Okay, you can easily see that that this is a multi-bagger and I'll see you in the next video.